are laser safe for your skin? What nobody tells you about laser treatments? Hi, I'm Dr. Apratim Goel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, I am a practicing dermatologist and a laser surgeon and I have been practicing in Mumbai from last 25 years. And one of the questions which is commonly used in my clinic and I am sure in a lot of other clinics worldwide is, are lasers safe for my skin? And I am sure that lots of you would have actually either heard horror stories about lasers on internet or from your friends and family and that has stopped you from considering laser as a treatment. Let's break this down. First of all, what are lasers? So the technologies which we use in a dermatology practice are either lasers or light-based devices. All technologies are not lasers. For example, we use lasers like Alexandrite laser, diode laser, and the AG laser. Most of these are used either for tattoo removal, pigment removal or laser hair removal. Apart from this, for scars, stretch marks and for textural improvement in the skin, we use erbium glass, we use erbium YAG and the fractional carbon dioxide laser. Now these are by and large the lasers which we use in our practice. Also lately we have added the endolift laser which is a fiber optic laser which is more for skin tightening and the fat reduction in the skin. Apart from that the radio frequency based devices like the micro needling or radio frequency and the sound based devices the ultrasound like HIFO or ALT therapy are also used commonly. Then the temperature sensitive devices like the cool sculpt or the cryolipolysis. How do lasers work on our skin? Lasers are very specific devices and they work on a particular chromophore or a target only. It doesn't get absorbed into the surrounding tissue and so it is safe for the skin. However, laser is not a magic wand. Laser is a very specific device. You have to use the right technology with the right parameters for the right kind of patient for the right indication. Now, which are the indications that we can cater with lasers? We can treat active acne, acne scars, the various kind of pigmentations in the skin, the tattoos, melasma, freckles. Apart from that, when the skin gets loose, we tighten it with the help of radio frequency or the ultrasound devices. And for those of you who want to just sculpt your face, there is the 1470 nanometer endolift laser as well. Apart from that, the cryolipolysis or the fat freeze is used for stubborn pockets of fat in the body. And yes, we also have the EMS and the RF technology like eye model wonder, which after you have lost weight and you have your desired body shape, now you want to just tone up your body and build the muscles and get into a particular sculpted shape. That's where this helps you. So to answer the question that are lasers safe for Indian skins? Indian skins are very rich with melanin. And that's why we are more prone to getting complications. Complications in terms of post-inflammatory hyper and hypopigmentation. And that's why the laser devices have to be used after a proper understanding of the technology, after a proper training experience and knowledge of the parameters of that particular machine. So how do you choose a laser clinic for your treatment? First of all, do a little bit of research into the background of the place and the doctor. The technology which is being used, have all the questions ready with you. Will this technology help you with this particular indication? For example, microneedling. Microneedling is not a treatment for pigmentation. Yes, because the skin improves, secondarily microneedling can get some improvement in the skin. But my device of choice when I'm dealing with pigmentation will be either a Pico laser or a Q-switch NDAG laser. So it's very important that, you know, you ask these questions to the provider. Second question should be how many sessions will be needed because most of these treatments are in few sessions. Then what should be the interval between sessions? What can be the side effect? Are you going to get a little patch test which you know, uh, will actually show your sensitivity of the skin and a detailed history taking is also very, very important. I mean, your history you give to the provider, to the doctors and this way you can actually enjoy a laser treatment rather than getting worried about whether it is unsafe for your skin and what the side effects of the laser will be. So I hope that for those of you who have been planning to do a laser as simple as a laser hair removal or just for a glow, but you are 
scared of the side effects i hope this video helped you and if there are still doubts or concerns which i have not answered please put it in the comments and i'll be happy to answer that and like always don't forget to like share and subscribe because we will be continuously bringing to you such contents which will be helpful with lots of insights into skincare